Hi, this is John Morgan with the latest video tip for 2020 design. How is the floor two different materials here? I have a shower material, floor material, but they're on the same plane. Under the room catalog, I can grab a floor shape. I can drop this on the floor. I can double click on it. I can go in and say, with the 60, the height is 0 0.25. I always make it less than an inch, and the depth on the item is going to be 36 inches. Now, when I click on that, I have a floor. I can go to variables, click on the texture button, and I can either use a generic texture, or I can go to the textures I've already used in the drawing, or I can go to textures that I loaded from websites. These are textures that I downloaded from tile sites. So if I clicked on that tile, there's my floor, and that's what my floor would look like in my bathroom. That's one way. Here is another way. Items. I go over to Surface, and I click and trace the room. I'm going to do it in the kitchen. Trace, click. Everywhere there's a turn, I'm clicking. We're going to go all the way to the end of this wall, click, all the way to the corner and click, all the way up and click, around the, the base cabinet and click. Now, a lot of times we would do this before we even put the cabinets in, but I've already put the cabinets in. This gives you a trace of the floor. I can click on the Browse button. I can go into Textures and scroll down and find one of the textures in 2020 or one that I've imported. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. That's what the floor is going to look like in my kitchen that fast. All I had to do was go over here to the Surface button and trace the floor area. For other great ideas, please join the 2020 community at www.2020spaces.com forward slash community.